We're going to turn ourselves into a moth for the third time. This is what we're going for, by the way. All the yellow is on. Now we're going to go in with the pink. You know, I really underestimate how long it takes to paint yourself pink. I finished, and I don't think I like it. But they'll do a little pose. Do we like it? I don't know how to feel about this. Smells great. Which one? Mmm. Smells like mother's crazy sister Kate. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I do. It smells so good. She couldn't have been that crazy. I don't think so. Oh, you don't think so, huh? No. Well, she put her poodle one time in a microwave oven to eat it. Yeah. To eat it? Oh, no. No, 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 silly to dry it. No, no, no. But it exploded. And they were both found dead. She must have been out of her head. Oh, 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 oh. Here it is. Imagine the day they see you again. And you are just, well, better. No one out there is discussing the old you because they don't have access to the new you. Read that again. Jackson, hey, it's a holiday. I got holes on holes. for Halloween. This is going to be a medium level, very suitable for kids. We're going to start with a white base, not too thick. This is honestly all you need for the white. The main points are both cheekbones and above your eyebrows. Next, we're going to work on the eyes. I'd like you to make a mix of red and brown on a sponge. If you have it, a brush will work as well. It should look something like that. You're just going to start to tap it around your eyes. Keep it small because you can always add more. If you go too big right out the gate, it's really hard to take it away. It should look something like this when you're done. If you want to use black on the eyes, you can. However, it is harder to remove from the eyes and a lot of parents ask me for this for kids. We are gonna add a little bit of black to the eyes, but I'd like you to use some eyeshadow and not face paint. Put it on a brush and you're just gonna do a little bit right around the lid area just to give it some depth. You're gonna take a smaller, fluffy brush and you're gonna go just slightly around the edge. Next, you're gonna take a sponge and I want you to dip it into some greens and some browns. Just kind of move the sponge around so it's kind of splotchy. 
So my sponge looks like this. I add a little bit of gray also. And we're literally just gonna rough up the skin. You kinda can't mess this up. Just try and leave this and this somewhat light. We're gonna put a head wound on this zombie. I want you to take your red paint and a brush and fill it up. When you have your red, I want you to take your black paint and literally just swipe the brush through it like two times, front and back. From here, you're just gonna make like a messy splotch right there, bloop. That's it, we're done. No, I'm kidding. You're gonna pick a point in your wound and we're gonna make a cut coming out of it. You're gonna press down, taper it out, different lengths, different widths. Now we're gonna work on the cheekbones. Back to your small fluffy brush and back to the black shadow. Face paint is hard to blend on this, so shadow is the way to go because you can always fix it and blend it out. You're just gonna start at your hairline and just trace under your cheekbone. Do the same thing on the other side. You can already see the shape of my face is starting to change and it's starting to look sunk in. Go at your temples and just do a little like half moon here. We're gonna work on the brow now. You're just gonna go at the corner of your eye and come up and around. This is gonna give us that illusion of like a thick, heavy, uh, blend that out a bit. After you blend it out, go in with your small shadow brush and just add a couple of hard wrinkle lines that you're not gonna...